Hi, this is Quant Namat. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, we'll show you uh, an example of how you can create like a web dashboard for your strategy backtesting. And I will do this in R using library Shiny. Shiny is an amazing library that allows you to create very nice uh, web dashboards without you knowing much of web development. You'll see that it's really easy. You don't need to code in HTML or CSS just a function call and you'll have a nice dashboard that will be interactive so i'll start here with um, kind of very simple um, backtesting strategy i developed some time ago in another video and it's quite primitive so i just get the data for apple here for example if it was an example um, and then i compute just pnls and then based on the fast slow moving average position i just kind of stay in the market and I expose to this PNL or I'm just flat and I'm just put here or zero, put here or zero. So it's quite um, simple, um, but I will use this in this example just to show you how it works. And if I'll run this, um, this will uh, compute um, kind of daily PNLs. So here, here's how it looks. So this is just kind of like a data frame with date and PNL. And so then if you run a chart performance summary, you'll see this uh, chart on the right bottom of your screen. And here, um, if I'll run this table analyzed returns, I will get just a um, very basic table with a basic um, kind of strategy metrics. So what is your analyzed return? What's your standard deviation? And what is your sharp? So let's start with that and build like a nice um, web dashboard for it. I already created a file app.r and let's use this file to build our web dashboard. So let's start by just adding a few uh, libraries. Um, so first of all, I will load a shiny library and also I will uh, load library called DT. It stands for data table and uh, it actually will be useful for us to display, um, display tables. So then I will source um, um, my uh, function for backtesting. So as you'll see here, it's actually um, like a function. And uh, this way it will be very uh, simple for uh, me to um, to use it. So we'll comment this kind of calls. I did it to the library and now let's switch and create an app. So um, Shiny actually uh, applications actually consist of two parts. So first one is UI part. So this is basically what you see on your screen when you load your app. And the second one is server. So this is basically things that um, work on, on, on a kind of on the backend and compute stuff for you, to, what to display. So I, I will add here two uh, functions, so two kind of calls. So first one will be UI. I will assign it to um, a fluid page, for example, and, and just to check that it actually works, I will just um, put um, something here, let's say, um, like a back test. And the second uh, functions you need uh, to run um, uh, the Shiny app is um, server, um, and you need to define the server, and it's defined like a function. Here you need to define input, um, output variables, and also session. And for now it can be empty. So let's uh, save it and launch it and see if it actually works. Okay, I forgot to call um, a shiny um, app a function with uh, variables of UI and server. So that's it. So as you can see now we have a button run app. And if we'll run it, you'll see a pop up and here, this is our app. So now let's start to uh, building our app. So what I want to do is that I want to uh, create a couple of inputs basically for every parameter of uh, my kind of strategy functions. So there will be a parameter for a symbol, a fast moving average, a slow moving average. And we will be able to change this from front end interface and when it will be changed, an application will recompute our backtest and display us like this chart and also kind of this table of kind of simple parameters. So let's work on that. So here in UI, I will add a few inputs. So first of all, I will um, add a select input. I will call this a symbol and this will 
uh, display me like an input, um, like a drop down input. Um, and I will assign here a label symbol and then I need to provide choices. Um, so you can be creative here and um, you can have many options based on how you get the data but i will just for um, sake of uh, this video example i will just add a couple of symbols of most popular stocks so you got the idea of um, how it works so um, in the next um, input will be a numerical input um, so i i, I need to um, have two numerical input for fast moving average and um, and a value will be 10 for example and I need the same but for slow moving average so this one will be for slow moving average and parameter will be 200 for for by default and as I said I want to output one chart and one table so let's put a placeholder for that so to output the chart you have plot output function and um, here I, I just need to create a name for this chart for now I will call this chart performance and also I need um, data table output uh, so this will output us um, a table so I will call this TB performance so that's it so now we can run the app and see um, how it looks as you can see we have now three inputs with all the parameters for the function but um, you know table and a chart are not displayed because we didn't compute them for now so next let's go and compute them so now I need to go to uh, my uh, server variable and here I just need to define a few things so first I will create um, a reactive function called calculate the strategy and it will be reactive so what it means actually is just you can think about this as, as a function that will be recomputed every time parameter changes uh, on on the screen so here I will uh, create couple of uh, variables and I will define them to values of my inputs I just created so this will be a symbol um, I will create um, fast moving average variable um, and here the name for input is fast moving average and the same for slow So uh, now we saved all our parameters uh, from our front end. So now I can actually call my strategy. So I will create a new variable called returns. I will copy uh, the name of my function and I will specify all uh, the parameters I just saved. And slow and here I will just as an uh, output I will return um, that. So that's it for this reactive uh, function. So now let's go and uh, create uh, the chart and, and, and the table. It will be quite easy to do. So everything you want to output to your Shiny app, you need to assign this to output uh, variable. Just create a new one, uh, chart perf. It should be the same name you have in your um, you know, UI. And here you just assign a render um, dot plot um, and the function and here uh, I just need to call my reactive function so uh, my returns uh, will be computed like that and here I just need to I can copy the code from here so this this, this is what I want to display as a function as, as a chart so as you can see I just um, computed this returns and then I kind of pass this to this function and um, it should actually plot um, this chart nicely and the last one I need to output a table so um, it's quite uh, similar so uh, it's um, TB um, performance and then I just need another function called render data table and here idea will be um, the same I just uh, get the returns and then I uh, create um, let's say matrix um, variable and here I just use um, table dot um, analyzed uh, returns and here you pass, I pass my returns 
that's it so now i can just this output this matrix and and that's basically it so let's launch it and see how it looks so it seems uh, to look fine let's wait for a second yeah it seems like we have the same chart as we had in uh, our our environment and let's play around with it so let's select for example tesla as you can see when i change it um, the chart takes a second to load and here I think it's loaded the table is new uh, chart is new and you can play around with the uh, parameters for the fast moving average and slow moving average pretty much in the same way and kind of live you can see how performance for um, for your strategy changes and this way I think it much more convenient to look at the strategy and to test different uh, parameters than just kind of going through the code and um, as you can see it's really easy to uh, code in R do this kind of small shiny apps it's quite straightforward of course this is a very simple and primitive examples I have worked on much much more complicated dashboards R and shiny is very, are very powerful so you can really build very fancy applications so I think that's all for this video I hope this was useful for you bye see you next one